Hi there, it is time for another review. Hi, I'm Gail Sibley and this time I'm going to be reviewing Sennelier's Iridescent Pastels. Now I'm super excited because I love sparkly stuff and I couldn't resist this set of 24 iridescent colors. So let's get this sucker open. Let's get this plastic off. Oh yeah, look how the colors are showing up. And the box, oh, on the side of the box, it tells us which colors are in there. So if you need to replace the colors, they give you the numbers, 812, 811, etc. Okay, here we go, let's open it up. So inside comes with a little booklet, that's kind of cool, from Snellier, telling all, telling you all about them and the pigments they use which is that's really cool and of course all their whole line to drool over their color charts this is fantastic this is good yeah fabulous so that comes in your set it's very clever marketing and um what is this little thing oh it just tells you the other other um in other languages oh no it tells you the, the different papers and all. So that was the first one was the pastels and this is the different things like the fixative, um, the papers. And they even give you a, a cool little piece of pastel card. And I think this is Sienna, the color. It's quite a dark color. So we can give that a try as well. And beautifully packaged with the foam. Ooh. And here they are. It's a lovely deep, it's interesting how deep the box is. You can see how, th how uh, that's almost like a centimeter, half an inch, more than a quarter inch of foam on top. And here are the colors. Oh, this, oh wow. So nice warm ones, beautiful pink and blues, greens, and then interestingly some muted. So those will be really interesting to try. And then these are, at the end, are actually metallic. So they're not just what I would call iridescent. We'd also have, well, maybe iridescent. Maybe iridescent and metallic are the same thing. Wow, you can s certainly see the handmade quality of this one. With the different, how it's, <laughs> it's kind of got a nice little edge there. Yes, so let's, let's have a try of these. Ooh, beautiful. These are a typical size of Sennelier stick, so that's um, to be expected if you're if you're familiar with Sennelier pastels. Now, sometimes you know Sennelier. I love Sennelier pastels, but sometimes it can be a little bit crumbly. So I'm very curious, and I'm going to take off the paper. Of course, I will break all of these, but right now I'm just curious to see if I take off some of this paper how this feels. Don't want to lose the number at the other end. Ooh. Somehow this pastel feels a lot firmer than a regular pastel. So I'm going to just break this. So I'm just running my fingernail around it. I'm going to make a bit of a mess. And break that. I love, I love this beautiful shine on my fingers. So it feels great. It, it feels, uh, they feel sort of soft and almost, it, it feels like makeup. That's what it feels like. It feels like I want to put this on my eye. Probably not a good idea though. I want to try out all of these pastels so you can see, uh, let's see the colors. And I'm going to try them first on, on this paper. So that's that first one. You know what I, I really like is that surprisingly they're quite subtle. Like if you didn't, if I didn't know necessarily that this was an iridescent, I might not kind of, I wouldn't necessarily notice it. It's not startling. It's not in my face. So I like that. All right, so let's go through all of these quickly. Ooh. 
Yum! Oh my gosh! This is so great. Now is this one of the things that's kind of neat is that there is a I wasn't sure if they would be all very similar values but they are some lighter some some darker like that you know this is lighter and this is darker so that's that's great so if you almost think of these pastels just in terms of the color and the value rather than oh these are iridescent you you it almost feels like you could do a painting just with these as you would normally use pastels without them you know being iridescent oh, they are so yummy they're so they're lovely and soft you know just what you would expect from a Sennelier pastel on this pastel card just gorgeous oh I'm I I'm so excited. I, I'm holding back, but I'm really excited and I just can't wait to use them all on here. And wow, that's same value pretty much as the paper. See, this looks just like a beige and but it's got the, yeah, it's like eye makeup, metallic eye might makeup. Here's the gold. Wow, yeah, that really disappears into the paper. And it won't be until I get it into the light that you'll see that more clearly. All right, so let's bring that up. So you can see, yeah, really, it's interesting. So they've, they've, we've got a really dark, dark one, really light, light. So yeah, like I say, think of these as a selection of color and value rather than iridescence. You could make a painting out of these, just, uh, just these colors and just these values. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna play with them and do something with them because there is the dark and there is the light and there is a nice range of, of warm and cool bright and muted. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. I want to show you what it would look like on the black and a cream paper rather than the mid-value paper. This is Canson Mitant, the smooth side. And this is the black. And this is UART and it is the 240 grade, which is the coarsest grade that they have. So let's just try the same colors, some colors on each of these. So, okay, let's go for this one first because I think it's going to look stunning on the black. So much pigment coming out. It's beautiful. And let's try that one. Can you hear it? <laughs> it's very coarse. Curious about this lovely one. And maybe this one. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do the same colors on the black. Definitely not the grip. As we know, Canson doesn't grip as well. But the color looks amazing. And the iridescent really shows up on these. And that kind of muted green, beautiful. I think it was this one. Curious about this dark, this is sort of a dark color here, dark gray. So I think as I tilt these, you might be able to see the shine Certainly on the black, it really it really shows up. And then, so compare these to the ones on the, the Sennelier, the card paper, the pastel card. The feeling of the pastels on the pastel card is just quite extraordinary. 
And I think, uh, you know, they're made for each other, made by the same company, made for each other. It feels a little bit, you know, on this, uh, as with all pastels, it's not going to take very many layers. This was, I used the very coarse U art paper, and it just, of course, grabs the pastel. But you can see how, if you didn't have them necessarily with matte, more matte colors, you wouldn't necessarily know that they were iridescent. And I kind of, I quite like that. So, you know, you can use them sparingly, or how I'm going to do it, I'm going to try a piece using, using all of them together. But it is, they could be a little bit like makeup, you know. I mentioned about, oh, it's just like smooth, beautiful colors of makeup that you, you know, you're not going to put makeup all over all these wild colors all over your face you're going to put them on your eyes or your your lips or your cheeks something you know some place that you want to accentuate a part of your face and i think that would be the same in the painting would be to use them um like little decorative i don't like to use the word necessarily decorative but some little accent a little instead of a color accent it's actually got a reflective accent as well as a color um, you know, it's like adding that little that extra poof, that spice to your your meal, that, that little that pepper that's just gonna explode in your mouth. So anyway, I'm really excited to try these out in a painting. So let's go do that. This was a demo that I did in a workshop and it is done on Pastel Premier Italian Clay. You can see that it was, a, a, it's a kind of a beigey color underneath, that's the paper color. And this was a, an exercise of layers. So there's probably at least two layers on there, maybe a couple more in places. And um, I decided to do this on uh, Sennelier's pastel card, La Carte paper, so that I would use both Sennelier products, the, the pastels and the paper. And I thought I would take this as a kind of a template and try it out using the iridescent pastels. Now obviously I don't have all these colors that are here but I sort of chose as close as I could. Um, as I said the value there's only really two dark values and so there's no kind of this dark dark green. Uh, there's no none of this sort of rich this dark red bright orange. I don't have this pale blue but I'm probably going to use a sort of mid-value blue and then go over with a pearlescent color. So let me just get started. I'm just going to put in, let's put this dark in first. So this is a very sort of a dark charcoal. The silver is a lot lighter. So I'm just going to put the colors that I've used down here. So the silver, which I'm not going to use, you can see, let's put it uh, here, is a lot lighter and I'm not going to use that color. I just wanted to show you. Okay, so there's this. It's probably a little bit of dark in here. And now I would have put in this blue originally, but I think what I'm just going to do, it's a light area. I'm just going to go in with the this kind of pearlescent white here. Goes on beautifully just like any Sennelier pastel would. It really works really well on the pastel card. It's, like I said, they're kind of made for each other. A match made in heaven. All right. And then I'm going to use this sort of green, it's close to this green color here for the mid value. I'm just going to, there is a light here, so I'll leave a space for that. So rather than, so I'm actually going to layer just as I normally would because I, I could just do this with a single layer, but um, the way I work is with layering. So that's what I want to do here. And rather than use this light, light color, I'm going to put the yellow in for this light. All right, so that's got the main, main values in. So let me put in... Well, there's a lot of yellow in here, so let me go over with this, with this yellow. I just want to do this really quickly so we can get an idea of how this works. Oh, I really love this blue, so let me put this here. I'm going to, 
I'm going to take this mid-value blue. You see how it's very close to the green. I'm going to just put a little bit of this in here. Actually, I'm going to put it here. And then I'll go over with the lighter color. You can see I'm using the side of my pastel. It's very, it's very transparent. Transparent. Uh, when you layer in the regular pastels, um, it is transparent, but there is a sort of there's also an opacity to it. I don't know if you kind of see that. Whereas when I'm using this, it's like it's like glazing with you know very thin paint. So let me go over. I want. It, I still want this to be light. see the gathering of the pastel dust a little bit there. All right, let me get into this part. So this is the darker red. I have a kind of a, mm, it's not really orangey. Put this one, it's a little bit pinker. And then I have this. So let's use this red down in here. Yeah, so like I said, I don't I don't have the right colors that you know that are gonna match this, but it gives us kind of an idea. The intensity, the the standard, the just the regular pastels have a real saturation and intensity of color that I cannot really achieve with these iridescents, and that's because they have this transparent look. But they are very seductive, and I think it's difficult to see. Let me have a look. I think it's difficult to see in the video. So what I'm going to do afterwards is quite trying to get a, a shot sideways because when I look at it from this angle, I can really see that reflective light it's like a, it's got a real glow uh, it, it glints with light whereas when I look at this one it's very very matte and another yellow here no nope, I'm not going to use that one okay there's also this darker blue I'm going to see since I don't have green, I'm going to bring some of this into here. to totally eradicate some of that color there. It's much easier in the regular pastels to do that. Kind of cut in, you know, with a negative shape. So all of this was with the side of my pastel. Now I'm going to try a little bit. See what happens if I do some line work. Oh, and the color shows up so much more when I do that. Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> See how the color... Put the yellow. Let me just do some yellow in here. It's 
Maybe it's the marks too, just the mark making against the the more flattened out background here. Gives us an idea. I like some of the, these marks. What did I? Yeah, I used that green there. I think those are, these are all the colors that I've used. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That and then I didn't use that one. That gives us a good idea. Like I say, they're so they're tr they're kind of transparent. They have an amazing glow, uh, which I'm hoping I can achieve. <laughs> I can show you by looking at it sideways. Um, and there's, uh, yeah, the luster, it's like a, it's a lustrous piece of, it's a lustrous piece of work. <laughs> what I would like to do is try some of these on a piece that is done with regular pastels and just do some additions. So what I'll do is I will photograph that and put those in the blog. Let me see if I can show you it's by going sideways. The sort of iridescent quality, the pearlescence, I think you can see it there. Yes, there. And there. So you really get to see the light reflecting when you look at it from the side. And let's just compare it with this one where you can see it's really matte. The color is incredibly saturated and the value range is, um, is greater with the regular pastels. You know, those, that dark is really dark. Let's just come back over here. And because of the reflected light, it's really difficult to get that super dark, but you can really see that pearlescent -y lustrous look of the iridescent it's really um it's pretty exciting to see it and i can't wait to try it out in smaller doses on different kinds of work wow so what did you think of those i know i'm a little bit in love with sennelier's iridescent pastels and i'm really happy to have them in my collection that way i can just grab one when i need a zap of sheen in the darkness or or a kind of a pow of brightness in the light if you want to read more on this review then head on over to how to pastel Com. And hey, please subscribe to my channel. You will be alerted as soon as I upload a new video. And I upload videos uh, on everything to do with pastels. I do demos and tips and of course reviews. And please like and comment below. Let me know what you think. And share this video with all your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Wow. Sorry, I've got something in my mouth. A sheen, a sheen. In the meantime, really? No. Una mas, una mas, una mas. Figaro, 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 Figaro. This is it, this is it. Why does it take me so long? Ha 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 ha. All right.